China has made a new claim on India's Ladakh, but India has fully rejected China's perception of the line of actual control. The brigadier-level talks between India and China are anything but conclusive, and the Chinese are losing their patience. As winter sets in, India is preparing for the long haul, and this has made China a lot more jittery, so much so that it is singing the tone of their Pakistani underlings. China has made a new claim on Ladakh and has so far gone on to say that it does not recognize Ladakh as India's union territory. But India has shot back, making it clear that India does not recognize China's perception of the line of actual control or LAC and is in no mood to entertain China's shenanigans. As reported by the Chinese Communist Party mouthpiece Global Times, China's foreign ministry spoke person Wang Wangbin said, China does not recognize the so-called Union Territory of Ladakh illegally established by India and opposes infrastructure construction in disputed border areas for military control purposes. It was in response to the major road building projects along the border which has rattled China. The Indian government took no time to retaliate, and in response, the official spokesperson of the Ministry of External Affairs, Anurag Srivastava, said, India says it has never accepted the so-called unilaterally defined 1959 line of actual control. This is a position India has maintained for long, and last year, in India's parliament, Union Home Minister Amit Shah reasserted India's position vehemently. He said, when I say Jammu and Kashmir, it includes Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. Kashmir. Both Indian and Jammu and Kashmir constitutions also say that the state is an integral part of India and this gives us the right to form laws for the state, which includes Pakistan-occupied Kashmir and Aksai Chin. It must be remembered that Aksai Chin is actually India's territory which is under illegal occupation by China. India maintained its position and also stated, We expect that the Chinese side will sincerely and faithfully abide by all agreements and understandings in their entirety and refrain from advancing an untenable unilateral interpretation of the LAC. After the series of statements and counter-statements for the last few months, the latest exchange has reopened the Pandora's box, and the conversation on the Indian side of the border is solidifying the opinion that India should not recognize China's claims on Tibet and also move away from the one-China policy by recognizing Taiwan as an independent nation. China perhaps did not expect that India will look it straight into the eye without bending to the Chinese provocations. It has misinterpreted the hospitality shown by the Prime Minister Modi when Xi Jinping visited India as accepting China's supremacy. As reported by TFI earlier, India's External Affairs Minister S. Jaishankar also conveyed to his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi that India was willing to disengage, but the onus around the same would lie solely with China, which is rather infamous for walking back on its commitments. With no visible change in the ground situation yet, and an uneasy calm prevailing along the LAC, China is getting more jittery by the day. Winter is coming and China is scared as India has made all the preparations. As we reported earlier, the Indian military has already moved more than 150,000 tons of materials into Ladakh, which includes vast quantities of ammunition, equipment, fuel, winter supplies and food. Major General Arvind Kapoor, Chief of Staff, of the Indian Army's 14 Corps was quoted as saying, All the supplies that we need have already been pushed wherever they are required. He added, In a place like Ladakh, operations logistics is of huge importance. In the last 20 years, we have mastered it. India has displayed tremendous proactiveness in preparing its troops to battle the PLA in the harsh winters, keeping in mind the fact that mountain passes into Ladakh are blocked by snow at least four months every winter. India has been fast-tracking the construction of strategic roads and tunnels all across the LAC to counter the Chinese military threat, and this has rattled China.